Hi, welcome to 11th chapter in CSS3. This video is brought to you by Angpro Training. In this video, we are going to discuss CSS3 3D transforms. For latest update, please subscribe our channel. 3D transform. Transforms allows us to create effect. Transforms is an effect to change the element shape, size and the position. 3D transforms property. Transform. Applies 3D transformation to an element. Transform origin allows you to change the position and transform elements. Transform style specify how nested elements are rendered in 3D shape. Perspective specifies the perspective on how 3D elements are viewed. Perspective origin specifies the bottom position of 3D elements. Backface visibility defines whether or not an element should be visible when not facing the screen. 3D transform method Translate 3D Defines a 3D translation Rotate X Defines a rotation along the X axis Rotate Y Define the 3D rotation along the Y axis Rotate Z Define the 3D rotation along the Z axis Scale X defines 3D scale transformation by giving a value for the X axis. Scale Y defines a 3D scale transformation by giving a value of the Y axis. So likewise these are all some important 3D transform methods. Syntax Transform is a property. We are passing the method like a translate, scale, rotate and we are passing the value for this method. Transform origin is a property and we need to pass the value in the length. Example I taken a transform is a property. Rotate Z is a method and 20 degrees is a value. If I'm using transform origin is a property, I need to pass the X axis and the Y axis value. 3D transform for cross browser. If we are using Mozilla browser, we need to apply MOZ before using the transform property. If you are using Chrome browser, Safari browser or iPhone browser or Android browser, we need to use WebKit before applying the transform property. If you are using Opera browser, we need to use a O before applying the transform property. So this is our output for our transform property. Before the transformation, the image should be look like a normal image. After the transformation, the image will be turning here. Let's go for the code demo. For that, I am opening my Visual Studio code here and I am just creating one HTML file as a name of 3D transform dot HTML and I am including the HTML tags and first I am just taking this P tag here and applying for the styles for the P tag so I am inside the head section I am taking the style tag and in style tag I am applying the CSS for P tag so I need to apply a height property for this I am taking as a height of a 150 px and I am I'm using width width is a 150 px width also I am using same 150 px and I will take margin 10 px and I will use border 10 px solid red and here let me just pass some uh, text welcome to ang pro i am using this welcome to ang pro so let's see the output for this i'm just copy path let open my browser and paste it here so it's a normally look like this okay so i i want to use some properties for this i want to do the transform for this p tag so a first transform i'm using here id is equal to translate and let me apply for this hash translate transform using I am using here translate so here if I am using translate x I am giving the value like a 50 px only so it's move only x axis it's moving to only x axis here so let's see the output save if you see it's moved x-axis 50 
if I'm using here 100 let's use my 150 here so let's see the output it's move up to 150 here so if I want to move y axis I want should it should be come here so then I need to use here instead of x I need to use here y so let's see the output it's come as a y axis because its default should be here and after that it's come as a y axis I want it should be come here again so I need to use as a z axis again because it's behind for that see it's come again here it's a z axis so these are all some transform properties if you are using x axis y axis z axis and again I'm just taking one more tag and I'll give this name as a rotate rotate so comment this line hash rotate open close transform rotate x I am going to use rotate x and giving the angle of the 20 degree let's see the output it's 20 degree rotating means it's rotating from it's a flipping it's kind of a flip uh, if I use like a 180 degree let me just use 180 degree here here it's rotated in x-axis itself is rotated as a 180 degree if I use this as a y-axis so let's see the output for this so y-axis is rotated from welcome to ANK Pro starting from here but it's fully rotated as a mirror image welcome to ANK Pro So let use as a Z here. It's a 180 degree. Let's see the output. It's Z also like a welcome to angle press reflecting, but in a different position, Z position, Z axis position. So likewise, we can use here. So again, I'll show the X axis. See Z and X. See the difference. X is kind of a mirror. So likewise I just use regarding I just put comment I just copy this line I just paste here and I comment on this Now I want to use a skew skew property so I taken a side name as a skew itself and I am using transform is a property and I am using the method skew here you can see skew also we have a x y here so if I'm going to use this as a x q here if I'm giving this a value like a 50 degree you'll see the output for the x q it's like that 50 degree x axis it's stretching to x axis if I'm using y if I see the output it's stretching toward y-axis it upper side is going because our output for this stretching from this side and this side y-axis if I'm using normal skew 50 degree comma 100 degree let's see the output see both the side it's stretching both the side let me just uh, decrease some I'll use like a 20 let me use like a 50 here and let's see the output see here it's stretching both the side x axis also stretched and y axis also stretching both the side is stretching so this is called as Q and let use one more property here I'm just taking P tag and I'm using the ID here scale and I'm using here welcome to Ang Pro. You can use a degree from 0 to 360 degree. 
I am using 180 degree but if you want to use it you can use from 0 to 360 degree also. So scale tag I taken scale and I am passing transform is our property and I am using as a scale. Scale also we have like scale, scale 3D, scale X, scale Y, scale Z. Let me use as a scale X. So if I am using scale X, if I am given 2, so let's see the output. It means I am just uh, taking an X value here. So it's going to get X means it's a width is going to get increased two times. If I am having a 150, it's going to get increased like a 300 px. So let's uh, see the output. I save this and go to the my Chrome. It, you can see it's a X is increased. It means scale is increased like a X value. If I want to increase as a Y value, it means height. So I need to use as a Y here. And let me just see the output for this. Okay, so it's a Y is increased. So it's likewise if I'm using the Z value here, if I want to increase Z value. So let's see this output. See, it's equality because it's a background side is stretching. So that's the reason. Okay, so these are like a properties for transform, 3D transform and the methods for 3D transform. Subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.